Welcome to Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. We're glad you're here. It's about family, farm, and our girls. We're located in beautiful central Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Share our experiences, what we've learned, what we're still learning. It's about triumphs as well as failures. <laughs> they love me. It's not they the easiest so thing much. you can do. There are always challenges, but it's the best <laughs> life for us. I love we you, believe you should learn something every day. Or Follow us on our journey. There's always something going on at the farm. So come along. Finally. This is what happened today. Finally, finally. We have been waiting and checking this girl daily, several times a day. Let's see, so today is day one. 54, I think. 154. Mm -hmm. Last night came out and did my feedings. Um, I give I give the goats alfalfa in the evenings. And so I came out at about I don't know, must have been six or seven, did that, and then came back out again at eight thirty just to check her because her, her udder was full, but she would not let me mm -hmm. um, sit and try to find her legs. So as I watched her from the cameras, I came back out at, I don't know, it must have been 10 or 10.30 and just decided that I was going to put her in the back of the barn. Um, both the birthing stalls on both sides of the barn have, uh, one side's got Daisy and her little, and the other side's got Louisiana and her little, and... I wanted to be able to see Chloe through the night, and so I just put her in the barn. I don't really like doing that because then she can't see any anybody else uh, as far as the goats go. But anyways, it is now Wednesday morning. I was able to stay in the house all night long, and it is uh, probably seven. And she's having some contractions and getting ready. I don't feel like she's going to have a single. I think she's big enough to have um, twins. Two. I'm hoping that she has two since we've had so many that's had singles. Cammie is a uh, Chloe and Lincoln girl, and so if I can get the equivalent of her, wowzy, I've been uh, looking at the kids that's on the ground so far, and very happy with what I see. Lincoln has definitely, definitely improved our top lines and leveled out that sloped rump um, that most of the girls have. And so I'm, I'm very happy with that. I would absolutely love to see Lincoln's dames utter. I have... One picture of his dame's udder as a first freshener <clears throat> and nothing else. I have um, contacted Lincoln's um, breeder and she uh, doesn't own Lincoln's dame any longer and she was going to a home I don't think was going to breed anymore, so look at that face. Look at that Roman nose. Look at that udder. That, that pre birth udder. Wow Z. Wow Z. That is absolutely fantastic, Chloe. 
Oh, there's a contraction. He's doing a lot of pawing. And that is just another sign that um, she's getting close to pushing. Um, when I turned the cameras on this morning to check her a little before 7, that's what I heard. And so that was my clue. I couldn't see her because she was underneath that hay feeder. And there's our camera up there in the corner. But I heard her scratching or pawing. So but anyways, friends, we should have some more littles pretty quick. There's a good contraction. Oh, and there we go. Right in the corner, Chloe. How is that going to be in the, of any benefit? Oh, there's a little lip curl right there. Uh-oh. The door went flying open. It's going to be a windy day today, is the forecast. It makes it so difficult to be outside when it's windy. We do have several things that we're going to try to accomplish this morning, though. One of them is cleaning out the yards. And um, their shelters of all the spent hay, straw. water. And there's the hoofs. How are you going to have it right there in that corner? You see the cup camera? My camera? going to get up.
slowly but surely. Yeah, she's getting it. She's almost got him crowned. Come on. Yeah, you got it, honey. Almost. You got him. Yeah, you got him. You got him. Gracious, another, another buckling. A buckling? Yep, a buckling. Oh my goodness. Um, throw me that paper. No, <laughs> no, my. The next one is uh, a smaller little girl, maybe. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> I would. But he's, he's brown and silver. Wow. Oh, my. It's slimed. No, my. No. You're kidding me. What? After birth? That's a black bevel. And so, yeah, that's a good inclination that she's done. Dad, come. Chloe, you big old horse. Probably. Yep, probably. Big old, big old buckling. <sighs> mm. stinking kid. Look at him. 
There, it clipped again. Ooh, he's big. Are you having a wardrobe malfunction? Yes, I am. <laughs> when you have to come out here early, early in the morning and you're not. You're half dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll see, I guess, huh? Yeah, no, she's no, done. She's done? Yep. I'm pretty sure a dark red bubble indicates afterbirth. Wow, Z. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's already ready to be disbudded practically. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, so that's a that's a Chloe Lincoln kid. Mm-hmm. And Von Miller. Yeah, and Von because Chloe's daughter. Or granddaughter. Chloe's granddaughter. He's not gonna wait around. He's and he is just going. Ah. Well, she cleans herself up good, don't mm -hmm. she? You got plenty to feed him, don't you? I'm going to move Louisiana out from the birthing stall, I think. And look at him, he's already grown. Oh man. <laughs> Could he be the largest? Oh my so goodness! Far? Probably. Well, this year, absolutely. I mean, even besides. I don't know. I'm not one there, for. Huh? Oh, well. Is he as big as Tank? Uh, he's taller than Tank for sure. But um, your baby, you're just gonna fall. Um, anyways, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna move Louisiana and. Um, move Louisiana out, open this gate, and she can take him outside. And then I can go ahead and clean this area. Flashy, huh? Is she? Whoa. 
We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. She wants him up. Mm -hmm. That's what she... She does that. He's like, well... Can you meet me halfway? Man, I hate these things. This one's got to be hitting my clothes. Trying to get him to stand up. Jump start and vitamin B. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job, Betty. Good job. Good job.